History books tell us that the Civil War officially ended with the surrender of General Robert E. Lee at Appomattox on April 9, 1865. But for three months thereafter, a ship of the Confederate Navy, the Shenandoah, roamed the seven seas burning U.S. shipping and creating a reign of terror in Alaskan waters. The South's most notorious privateer was built in Scotland in 1863 at the height of the Civil War. The vessel was secretly purchased by the Confederacy and sailed out of Liverpool flying the British flag. Off the coast of Africa, she rendezvoused with a Confederate ship. The Shenandoah got a new coat of paint, a battery of eight-inch guns, and the stars and bars of the South. The Shenandoah was a combination sailing ship and steamer and one of the fastest crafts afloat. In the South Atlantic whaling grounds, the raider burned eight ships in eight weeks. The crews were given an option, join the Dixie raider or become prisoners of war. The Shenandoah steamed into Melbourne, Australia, where she was provisioned for the long voyage into the whaling grounds of the Arctic. As she headed north across the equator, the privateer caught and burned four more whalers. It was June when Captain James Waddell reached Alaskan waters. As he steamed into the Bering Sea, he ran smack into the middle of a Yankee whaling fleet. The Shenandoah traveled from one becalmed whaler to another, pillaging and burning. Prisoners watched in horror as the cream of the Yankee whaling fleet went up in flames. Several of the captains told Waddell the war was over, but he would not believe them. Leaving a bitter trail of some 20 ships burned and four ransomed, the Shenandoah left the Bering Sea in July, bound for Panamanian waters. Off Mexico, the raider overhauled a British ship and read the shocking news in the newspaper. The war between the states was over. The U.S. Navy was searching for the Shenandoah. Guns were dismounted, ports were closed, the ship was repainted, and the funnel whitewashed. Waddell made a dash for Cape Horn and up the Mid-Atlantic to sneak into Liverpool and surrender. He was unchallenged and dropped the hook in the Merseille River on November 6, 1865. The Shenandoah captured 38 ships and 1,000 prisoners and was the only vessel to carry the Confederate flag around the world. She fired the last shot of the war in the Arctic Ocean and added an historical chapter to the heritage of Alaska.